So long, lunch. You were delicious. Eh. This is the intro to Pim's Daily Vlogs. Pim's Daily Leaps. Enjoy. So I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I always crack the windows on my car because I'm not going to be in it for a week, and I really don't want week-old air to be stale in there. So I crack them just a little bit so that there's a little bit of air movement. However, it might rain. Hmm. That's right. It's Sunday again. That means it's time to start another week at camp. Yay! Force the enthusiasm. Be happy. This thing on my foot really, really hurts. It's time to do a magical thing where we have to find five more people. They're going to give us marks in their hand after we fix them, and then we get to eat. We're all hungry. Hi! 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 Because you're kind of hiding. Yay! I'm done. Hi there. Hi. I'm excited. Uh, your, your claws are like ridiculous. I didn't get a chance to trim them before we came. They're like kind of scary looking, honestly. They're not sharper. <laughs> oh no, they're not sharper. They're just kind of scary looking. Look at that. Like, she holds hands. Dinosaur claws. <laughs> ah, Divi is a gift. <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> Hold on. Like this? Like this is okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's touching my hand. <laughs> oh, that's going straight onto Facebook again. <laughs> oh, now we're doing it. Hello. Oh. See, she's fine when Mama's holding her. She's so cute. This stick. Take this stick. She's just, just all uh, y'all. She doesn't like when other people uh, hold her. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Nom it, nom it, nom it. <laughs> Just like poking her. There it goes. Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh. The sky is absolutely incredible. It's all cloudy and stormy over there, and then you turn around, and it's just so blue and beautiful right now. Oh, I love it. It's so awesome. All right, friends. This is how you make a camp bed. If you're at a camp like this, where you actually have some sort of a mattress and a bed frame, the best thing for you to do, I'd say, if you want the most comfort, bring yourself a regular sleeping bag, the thicker the better, a liner, and a set of bed sheets and a blanket. Now, of course, you definitely need at least a pillow, and I say bring a stuffed animal because everybody gets lonely at camp. The thing that I do first and foremost is put your sleeping bag down on top of your mattress. Then put a fitted sheet over that and then make your bed like you usually would with a flat sheet and a blanket, pillows, stuffed animals. What this does is this gives you a big fluffy cushion on top of the mattress because most likely the mattress is not going to be too thick but it gives you just an extra bit of cushion. What you do with the liner is you put that at the bottom of your bed. There will be at least one night while you are at camp that it is very, very cold and you're gonna need a little bit more than just your sheet and your blanket. So bring an extra fleece liner and it just makes it look like a nice bed. Part of camp is just how it looks. So if you make your bed so that it's homey and nice and clean and well kept, every time you get to go to bed you're gonna go in there and be like, ah. Plus the sheets and the pillows give you a nice sense of home so even if you're away at camp for a really long time you still get that sense of being someplace where you belong instead of just slipping into a sleeping bag every night. This also makes it easier because these things are slept in over and over and over again, but it's just like a regular bed versus a sleeping bag which may get hot and sweaty inside of it and you need to somehow air it out. Next thing I do is make sure you have some sort of a nightstand thing if you're used to that. Have water there, have a clock there, and have, you know, a book or something like that and flashlights so you can, when in the middle of the night you can wake up and you can grab that stuff. I use these plastic bins to store all my stuff because that way animals can't easily get into them they have to actually like break into it not to mention if you have anything that's a little bit smelly but not like enough to super attract animals it won't attract the bugs and it just it helps to keep everything nice and clean instead of a duffel bag or something where you open it you have to dig to the bottom and then it all poofs out the other thing which I have which really helps is inside my plastic bins everything is separated into its own bag and I have a bag for shirts, bag for shorts, bag for whatever. So when I'm trying to look for something, I don't have to look for the shirt. I just need to locate my shirt bag 
and then I know my shirt is in there. At the same time, also pack an extra one and use that for dirty clothes. Pro tip, leave your dirty clothes lying out. Underwear and everything overnight. This is for any type of travel because you probably sweated in it all day and if you leave it out before you pack it away, it will air out all of the sweat and nastiness and it'll be fresher to put in your dirty clothes bag. So when you put it in your dirty clothes bag, it's not just festering and it's sweat. So it's, that's what I always do. And have your stuff. Don't be afraid to bring something that reminds you of home. Some people think like, don't bring anything to home because that is... You know, that's bad, it'll remind you of home, it'll make you feel bad, but I think it's much better because then when you get that when you get that homesickness feeling and you feel bad, you can just grab your little stuffed animal and hug him and it makes you feel better. Uh, have that little touch of home. That always helps if you don't bring like everything from your room, but have that little touch of home, that thing that you really want. It'll make you feel better. Also, don't forget your sunscreen and bug spray. Always put it on outside of the tent. These tents are waterproofed, but sunscreen and bug spray, anything, if it gets on it, it won't be, and then all your stuff's going to get wet. Another pro tip, if you're in a platform tent like this, open up at least the front and the back flaps. That will get a nice breeze going through the entire thing, and it'll make everything much cooler. If you have all your tent flaps down, everything will just be stuffy, and it's nasty. So keep your tent flaps open. If you're brave, you can roll up your side flaps and have a floating tent with just a roof, and that's wonderful because it's so nice. Even right now we've got a little bit of a breeze going through the whole tent and it's very nice. So that's how you make a camp bed or like you just want that extra something. I have a body pillow with me and I kind of like sleep on top of it and it's like even more cushiony which is really awesome. So if you want that don't be afraid to have that. Also it just makes it look like it's even more of a bed. So when I see it I'm like Ah, my bed. But don't like hide it under your blanket because every once in a while you'll walk in and be like, there's a body in my bed. Ah. And then it's just a pillow and you feel really stupid. Not that that's happened. Oh well, my farther away. gosh, look at this. He's huge. He's really cute. I don't want to kill him. I really don't want to kill him either. Ah, he's scary. No, don't. Uh, no, no, not, not the oh, whole. There, oh, there he goes. I don't want that friend coming here. Oh, you're gonna have ants that you should have only received. I'm afraid it's His gonna, butt like... makes me think of a piece of raccoon poop. So that's a that's a she and he she has eggs on it. That's, oh yeah, good call. That's a, that's... Oh I really don't want to kill her then. Hello Froggy. You okay? Pro tip, lay out your clothes. Can you see me in this light? I can't tell. Here we go. We're starting those long ending monologues again. Hey guys, back in the building with the composting toilets, you can smell it outside, but not inside. Weird. By the way, everyone, I have someone I want you all to meet. This is Felicity. Hello, my name is Felicity. My eye is coming off. See, one of one of my campers named she. Uh, she gave me her name tag. Her name tag fell off and uh, it landed on my hand, and so now my my hand is a the a thing. Alright guys, I think this is going to be a good week. I've got the older girls, they're the horseback riding girls, and they all seem to be pretty good. I say that. Knock on wood. We'll pretend that's wood. Wait, wood. Knock on wood. There we go. Uh, I'm hoping... I'm hoping things will be okay. <sighs> but it's, I'm, I, I did kind of that big monologue thing about how to make a bed, and then that was pretty much all I vlogged about today. I'll be good, though. It'll be good. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for sticking with me through the next through the summer and all these random mini vlogs that aren't as interesting as they could be. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. You can sleep in the paper towels. Good night and sweet dreams. And this is the end.